Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Planet Tower. I'm your host, Donald Wanda. Now guys, if you remember a few videos ago, maybe a few weeks ago, I actually spoke about some of the black television shows I kept my eye on the ball to because some of them are getting steam and there isn't a lot of black entertainment shows on recent, of late. And now we've got a really, really big one that I wasn't going to talk about in detail, but after I finished the season, and after a few of my friends feel the same way and I don't see a lot of these opinions online because everything seems to be slanted to one side of the fence on the opinions I'm going to have to give my critical thoughts on it and I'm probably going to get a little hate for this but as usual I have to call it as I see it Cairo Media Folks are talking about Empire. Empire is one of Fox's latest shows about a black successful music family. You know, basically, I would say I'm gonna be very rough on this review. I do apologize. I'm gonna be very rough and raw. So I'm gonna say this is like a combination if the main character Terrence Howard in the show Empire is like if Tupac Shakur was a, was combined with Puff Daddy. He's a he's a hip hop mogul. That is not only ghetto, like a ghetto, got that ghetto cred, but he's also rich and he's built a musical empire, record label, Lion Empire Productions or whatever. He's got three sons that are, two of them are musicians, one of them's like the heads of the company. He had a wife that took the fall for him in some ghetto story now, blah, 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 blah. Basically, in a nutshell, this is a hip hop soap opera drama that, to my surprise, is written by Lee Daniels and still stars a lot of guest stars in black entertainment, Hollywood movies, actors, musicians. I mean, this show is really out there. It's done gangbusters in terms of ratings, in terms of money, in terms of popularity. This show has high ratings on IMDb, all over the web, and the common consensus is this show is great. People are loving this show. Unfortunately, I'm not one of those people that love this show. In fact, I would say I was very disappointed how the show came out to be. To be fair, when I look at the synopsis and when I look at the interviews beforehand, Lee Daniels did propose this story as, uh, he said it's a combination of Shakespeare's King Lear, uh, I don't, I read that story, uh, Dynasty, and in my opinion, Jerry Springer. Because this show is melodramatic as fuck. And, you know, I wasn't expecting that. Because Lee Daniels is such a great movie, The Butler, which is another black-centric movie that which was serious on black history. And lo looking at his reviews and his mentality, I actually thought this was going to be a more serious and, I don't know, toned down look at a, a man who's dying, his last wish the record. I thought it was going to be a lot more compelling. This turns out to be, yeah, more cartoony ridiculous just and you know what i'm not saying it's a bad show because this show openly came out to do something and it's done that i just was not expecting it to be like this and on top of that man i do feel like this show is perpetuates a lot of negativity in black culture that the stereotypes the bigotry the just the downright get onness of black people and this show has it all Enter, look, I can sit back at that since before with my reviews I can sit back and enjoy things for entertainment you know stupid entertainment and honestly that's what this show is going for but a lot of people are to my opinion are taking the show too deeply than it really is because this show is fickle shallow and just ridiculous the storylines the plot is addicted every single trope you've seen in shows like Days of Our Lives The Born the Beautiful The Young and the Restless these are shows that my mother forced me to watch. So I'm accustomed to soap operas and this show is a soap opera, is a soap theater, is one of those Tyler Perry movies in the hip hop mixed with Jerry Springer. And as I just watched the, what, the 13 episodes, it progressively got more ridiculous. In one season, so many things happened, so many ridiculous things from, I don't know, cheating, 
to business. But I don't, it, I don't, you know what? I don't hate this show because I, I took the show too seriously. You know, I will put that against myself. I sat down and I was expecting something a lot more serious and it came out just very goofy. And it got to the point where I was getting annoyed, but then it started to do so many stupid things. I just was like, look man, I'm, I'm obviously seeing this in the wrong light. I need to sit back, just see this as some dumb BET, I don't know, the Kardashians type stupid fantasy show that's just melodramatic, I don't know. I don't like those kind of shows. I, I didn't think this was gonna be that. But you know, it's the star power that kept me watching, that kept me thinking, is this, is this gonna go into a different direction? Is this gonna get more serious? Is it gonna be more realistic? And it just never did. Taylor Tower's character, the main character, like I said, he's a combination of Puff Daddy and Tupac. He's very hateable in the show. He picks us something, well, the, in the show, the storyline is he's dying of ALS, New Gareth's disease, the same disease that Stephen Hawkins got. And he decides to pit his sons against each other so they can become a successor. And one of his sons is gay. And when you see his, the way he treated his gay son, he threw him in a trash can. He's insulting him all the time. He doesn't respect him. And his younger son, he just kind of live, live, lives vicariously through him. And his other son, who's the business acumen is one, who's actually doing all the business side of things. He doesn't want him to have any, basically he's just using his sons, as far as I can see, to his own whims. And just watching him manipulate his sons is just so fucking irritating and despicable. Then you've got the way he treats his E. He sold out his, the mother of his children, the three guys I was talking about, he sold her out to the cops. Well, he let her take the fall for him and he divorced her in prison and he never even set up anything for her when she came out. And when she comes out, you know, he just wants to sweep her under the rug. The guy doesn't give a fuck about anybody. In a nutshell, he does all he is is the most self-centered motherfucker I've ever seen in hip hop. He's like everything, all the stereotypes of a hip hop, the gangster side, the not caring side, the just the asshole side, it's all encapsulated in Terrence Howard. He's not a likable character. And uh, you know, he's not, he's not really meant to be. Taji, Taji P. Ellis' character, Cookie, is, she's a ghetto woman that's done her time, who's, who's very bitter, understandably bitter, and you know, she's out to get hers, but she she portrays a character that's very ghetto, very ignorant, there's so many times they make fun of her ignorance in the business world, and then you've got Lucius's fiance, which is this kind of debutante, mixed race, Halle Berry-ish looking kind of girl, who, you know, they kind of got this undertone. I mean, this show, this, this show, I'm not gonna break this whole down. This show perpetuates so many negative things about the way black people see things, especially Terrence Howard character, who's a bigot, who's a racist against white people, who's so egotistical. But like I said, halfway through the show, I enjoyed it for the stupidness. I finished watching the show now. It just got progressively more ridiculous as it went along. And it never got, it never redeemed itself. It just became, I understood what the show was as it went along and honestly, I was just disappointed that this is the show that's giving Fox so many ratings, that so many people are loving, that is like Fox's number one show in like 5 or 25 years. There's an article down below that's even telling you how successful, this is blowing my mind how successful the show is. On top of that, rappers in real life are saying this show is great for the hip hop community, it's great for black people and that is a fucking shock to me. Honestly, that is ridiculous. But that's just me, guys. I could go more and more into it, but I just have to vent my, not even frustration. I'm not saying, oh, I'm so disgusted. Oh. You know, it's not even, I'm not trying to be some uppity Negro, like some Uncle Tom. If this wasn't a black show, I would have the same amount of disdain and disappointment for the show. If this is trying to be some retro, let's go back and do a dynasty type show, I get it. And if I came in with that mindset, Maybe I wouldn't be so distasteful, but I guess the main reason I'm just, just bitter against the show is there isn't a lot of black shows out there. And for this being the biggest one, it perpetuates so many negative things. The only way I can see this positive is for the actors. The acting is very good, if I need, sorry, the acting is good. Yes, the actors play good well. The music production in the show overall is, is nice. It's, the show looks great. The production, everything about the show is good, except for the script. The script is garbage, it's ridiculous. But the actors, the look, the music, everything else is good. The cameos are good. I was even surprised some of the cameos on. But again, let me just end this on saying I'm just so surprised that this show has been hailed as great. Even the IMDb score, what, 8 point, whatever, that's surprising to me. But again, 
you know, people said to me that you're not Hustle and Flow, and Hustle and Flow is basically the predecessors to this show. It's the same two main characters. And in that sense, I guess I can't complain because Hustle and Flow did perpetuate those stereotypes the same way. And that show, I don't know if it won a Grammy or Oscar, whatever, but that show was very, I like that show as well, so why don't I like this show? I think it just plays itself too seriously, and even the melodrama has played too much melodrama. Even I watch, I can watch melodrama, but this is just it, in this one season, so much melodramatic, eye rolling plot twist happened. I was just like, oh my god! But that's what made me enjoy the show. And honestly, on the flip side, that's what people are going to enjoy. Some people are going to want a black show that is a dynasty that is show black celebrities throwing money away, being stupid. And I don't know, man, guys, if I'm if I'm just so I don't know, seeing this show in the wrong way, if I just can't sit back and enjoy it. Tell me what, what I'm missing, because there's some intellectual people on this show, Peter, there's some intellectual reviewers I've seen out there that are giving this show props and are digging deep into these things like it's some kind of well-written masterpiece. Well, I just think it really is like a Jerry Springer, a Jerry Springer Shakespeare show. Let me leave it there, guys. I can remember on on forever, but I'm just really disappointed with this show. And I guess I could watch it for the entertainment value, but I was I was disappointed in my black peoples for hearing this show so well. Especially after seeing something like Dear White People, which is so so many black directors that are trying to write more intellectually diverse, compelling storylines. Forget about intellectual, just better written stories that are more serious, that are not so niggerish. I hate using that term, that are so niggerish. And this show is very niggerish, you know? Oh. Disappointing, guys. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments down below. I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this show because a lot of people are enjoying it on entertainment value. But I'm sorry, man, even, you could even do this better for entertainment. It's just, it comes on way too thick. Yeah, so guys, if I'm all on my own, and I know it's like a, a, a small percentage of people that feel like me that, aren't, that don't have to be black. It doesn't matter if the show is black or white. I just think on the show, on the whole, the show is just silly silly but not god awful just silly and you know i'm obviously not going to watch anymore but some people did want to know my thoughts since i spoke about it in a little bit but again call me a stuck up prick if you must because i have been called that about the my reviewing tactics or my expectations or my taste but again i'm gonna call it as i see it so that's enough guys i'm sure this video is too long if you watch the whole video i appreciate it if you want to share your thoughts with the show, good or bad, if you think I'm a fucking arsehole, let me know in the comments below because I heard it before and I appreciate it, guys. But I will end on saying, thank God that on IMDb, looking at some of the written reviews, some people do agree with me. So I'm not alone. I, if you're watching this video, I'm thinking I'm all alone. I'm not. But there aren't a lot of videos of people with a counter opinion like this. So that's one of the reasons I'm doing this. I like giving counter opinions. I don't like seeing slanted views. Everything's great. Everything's bad. No. There's always a great area. There's always people that don't agree with the masses. And in this case, that is I. So, people, thanks for watching. If you like the video, hit that like button. If you dislike this video, you're going to hit that dislike button. And until then, guys, click an annotation on the screen if you want to watch any more videos on my reviews. I'm a very opinionated fellow, as you can tell. But until the next video, I'll see you on the next one for Planet Tower, Tower Media. See you later. Peace out.